This is how you can create a system which counts players on your map. So depending on what type of map you have, you maybe want to have like a certain amount of players that need to be on the map and uh, you want to have like maybe different modes that activate while are like only four players on the map or maybe like while only two on the map. And this is a mode or this is a system that you can use in your maps to kind of track how many players are currently playing the map and adjust the mode fo uh, for the following. It does not need to be a team spawner, uh, but I just do this for the purpose of having numbers here. So we have team 1, team 2, team 3 and team 4. And uh, what you want to do is you want to play some kind of device which can track something about these players. So I'm using the mutator zone here, but it does not need to be the mutator zone. So you can, for example, also use the perception trigger and even the normal triggers could work. Uh, depending on what you want to do. But I think the Mutator Zone works very fine because it has a lot of different modes and I'll show you this in a second. Okay, let's assume a situation. We have our game started. Um, the game has started and we only want, for example, we have like starting boxes and we only want the starting boxes to open if we have four players active. Um, so how could we do this with this with this system? So first of all, we could set up in, uh, in these uh, Mutator Zones, we could set up a little text like saying emote if you're ready or emote if you are not afk or whatever so you can set it up in the material zone it's like an emote and then you can set it up in here the thing one thing you want to do is you want to disable the material zones by themselves so uh if a player starts emoting then you want to ha uh, disable the uh, material zone by itself so the player cannot just emote endlessly and make it count as he would be more players so you can have you have obviously have to set up set this up in uh, each of these boxes and obviously each of these boxes need different uh channels over here so you need to set different channels so this could be like two and this one could be three or whatever so you can you can decide on that but it needs to be different channels so what you then want to do is you want to have a second channel which converts uh this signal to our all signals so what this is doing is it gets triggered when someone in this box is uh, emoting and then sends, sends a signal to our counter which counts basically how many players we have. This is important because um, we have different channels and we cannot make one trigger device uh, get triggered by different channels. That does not work. That's not possible. We only have um, one option which allows us to trigger the device. So what we want to do is we want to basically convert this signal, like all these signals into one signal, which we're doing with this device and this and this and this. And uh, then basically if it you know, counts, like this one counts, this one counts and this one counts, and then it activates the top one right here, which is set to four, four times or like gets activated if it gets triggered four times. And then it, get act it gets activated and it transmits a signal, which is on channel six. And then all boxes start open or whatever. And you're also probably wondering why there are more triggers in here. So for example, we could also have like uh, only three players, then you have to set it up like this. Uh, if you only want to have three players, then uh, it gets activated if we have three players and then it sends a signal uh, for the five. And uh, same goes for this and for this. Um, obviously these two, or like these three also get triggered if um, we have players activating because obviously uh, one is less than four so obviously this one gets activated but only one time and it has a channel which we don't set up to anything so it doesn't matter uh, so you can leave them there and maybe have them for something that you need and obviously if you know that you always want to have four players then you obviously can just use this top one and you don't need these uh, bottom ones okay so if we only want four players then it's fine but for example like the placement system you want to have different players because um you obviously not always have the same amount of players and you want to you know, fit the scores, uh, fit the uh, placement points um, correctly. So you can adjust this with, uh, with the triggers, which is super nice, obviously. And um, yeah, that's basically how the system works. It's super simple, actually. Um, but it obviously needs a little bit of thinking to get to it. But in general, it's super e easy to set up. And uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, and yeah.